Hello, welcome to Me and My Wii, where we spend 45 plus minutes looking at a game from my Wii collection. Today, we're looking at Shattered Memories. So, I remember there being a bunch of hype, well, at least in my circle of friends, around the release of this game. I, apparently, pre-order numbers seem to look very good, according to the producer Tom Hewlett. The game was even named one of the best at E3 by IGN at Electronic Entertainment Expo in 2009. So, what even set this game apart from all the others being shoved onto the Wii at the time? It was developed by Climax Studios and published by Konami. The lead designer at Climax Studios, Sam Barlow, which I'm probably saying wrong, remembers pitching the idea by asking the questions, how many people own a Wii? How many of those people have enjoyed watching a horror movie or psychological thriller? We thought there were quite a lot of people we could sell this game to. Sam's UK-based team were the ones who previously saved Silent Hill Origins by pretty much reworking the entire game within a very short production window. Much like Origins, who began its life as a quote-unquote dark comedy before being morphed into the game that we have today, Shattered Memories started off very different from what we will be playing. Initially, US producer William Ortello, saying that wrong too, pushed for a Wii-based first-person shooter called Brahms PD. Brahms is the town that Sybil's from, if you remember in the Silent Hill 1 game. Your objective in this game was to find your missing partner while you'll be playing as an amnes... amnes... can't sleep good police detective on the Brahms force. Similar to Shattered Memories, Brahm PD would actually utilize in-game sessions with a police psychotherapist to analyze the player and change the world around them based on their answers as the game progressed pretty much catering a horror-fueled nightmare to each individual who played it. Konami's higher-ups weren't really smitten with this idea, though, so the team went back to the drawing board. They returned with Silent Hill Cold Heart, a world where fog was swapped for ice and snow, and our main character was to be Jessica, a psychologically traumatized university student who explored the town. You know, as we all do when we're psychologically traumatized from university. The game does have some typical Silent Hill calling cards, such as melee combat and puzzles, but since the world was frozen over, it was also required that the player was to scavenge for warm clothing and food to make sure that Jessica's body temperature didn't drop too low. It also kept the psych profiling from Brahms PD. While an endeavor this bold would probably be hard to sit comfortably with Konami higher-ups, Barlow stated that at some point before Origins, they'd actually greenlit the idea of a Silent Hill remake. The logic was, hey, if we say this Wii project's a Silent Hill remake, it's already been greenlit, and we can start working on this project right away. Due to this, the game was pretty much a go. Due to the success of the first Silent Hill movie in the West, which we're not going to talk about because I hate this movie, not even just because I'm a huge Silent Hill fan and I hate everything that it did to the characters, but it's just a shitty horror movie in my opinion, but we're not going to go there. <laughs> Konami felt that there was enough interest from a casual audience that the game should probably be produced. Through the development process, Jessica gave way to Harry Mason, and the story morphed back into Harry looking for his daughter while we waggle in his way through various puzzles and actions around the town to progress. The game utilized real-world profiling tests, such as the Meyer Briggs, Psychromotronic, Big, Big, Myers Briggs, Psycho questionnaire test thing in tandem with players unconscious actions to curate a custom horror experience for each Harry Mason playing the game. Changes range from subtle visual details to altered dialogue to even how characters looked and responded to you. Obviously, it also altered which ending you would give. Data collection on the player was actually done using the Wii Remote's flashlight as the player moves and looks around the screen. Depending on what you stall on, the game collects the data and uses it to further build your world around you. My favorite part of this title, though, which I feel could be heavily debated, was that there is no combat at all in this game. When William left the project, Barlow took this opportunity to alter one of the most debated points for casual gamers in the title, the combat. Barlow stated, combat didn't really fit the idea of selling a horror game to a broad demographic. For example, the point where my girlfriend would stop playing the games was when she was asked to pick up a weapon and start fighting. It would conform to her idea of what a video game was, and she would become very, very bored. 
Now, this idea was actually in a time before combatless horror titles were popular, such as Outlast and Amnesia, so this was a pretty bold and controversial move for the time. I feel like this choice helped the game stand apart from other combat-heavy horror games, though, of the time, like Resident Evil 4, and built an atmosphere that could not have been achieved if you had thrown combat into the mix. Funds became tight during production, though, so originally the PlayStation 2 port was actually dropped. Due to how popular the PlayStation 2 was in South America, though, and how the Wii wasn't doing the greatest at the time, it was decided to keep the PlayStation 2 port in the mix. In the end, though, this still only helped the game break mostly even. People were iffy about a Wii Silent Hill game, but in the end, Konami ended up marketing Shattered Memories to the core Silent Hill market, the space where Barlow was not aiming for it with his casual focus title. He stated, generally the negativity came from people who were opposed to playing a core game on the Wii anyway. It was something that could have been negated by selling the game differently. A major point in this game though, in my opinion, is the soundtrack. It is so hauntingly beautiful and doesn't get the attention it deserves at all. It has a very noir feeling to it, kind of like Hotel Dusk, and is just amazing. It was scored by the legend himself, Akira Yamaoka, who scored all the other Silent Hills before it. But sadly, this would be his last Silent Hill game until a slight help on guitar for Silent Hill Book of Memories. Again, we don't talk about her. She does not exist. I do not see. And the upcoming Silent Hill 2 remake. Shattered Memories was released on the Wii December of 2009 in North America and early 2010 in Europe and Japan. The PlayStation 2 port and a PSP port also released worldwide in 2010. So now that we know the game's history, how true to the original Silent Hill 1 story is Shattered Memories? Well, it still has the main characters from the first game, Harry, Sybil, Dolly, Elisa, Dr. Kaufman, Gerald. But aside from the main plot of Harry got into a car crash and needs to find his daughter in a few locations here and there, I feel like it's pretty much completely different from its predecessor. I highly, highly suggest playing this game for yourself, as I feel the story is very artfully crafted and moving, and there, there's already a million videos on YouTube covering the story anyway, better than I can, so I'm not going to bother covering it. But again, I highly suggest you playing it. So with that, let's jump into the first 45 minutes of it together on the Wii. Today's footage is actually going to be captured on my Wii U instead of my Wii, because the Wii U looks better, and it's a lot easier to hook up. <laughs> so now that we know a little bit of history and a little bit more about Shattered Memories, let's actually get into playing it. So we're only going to be playing the first 45 minutes together. Now, as a warning, I have already played this, so I know a lot about the game story-wise, and I have my own thoughts already, but I want to play the first 45 minutes with you uncut so you can kind of see it fully in its own glory. I am playing this on a Wii U in Wii mode, but I am playing with the original disc and with official Wii modes. Um, you will see why we're only doing 45 minutes because this is the great stance. I will keep the whole entire video and you will get to watch it the whole time. <laughs> So one fun thing about the Wii is every single uh, game has its own kind of like channel. So this is the Shattered Memories channel whenever you put the disc in. It's just static. Uh, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, I will not be using the wrist straps uh, because I'm a level five gamer and I don't need to do that. Um, I just I don't know where I've put them. <laughs> I lost them long ago because I never wore them. I have thrown a Wii remote at my TV once before, though, playing Wii Bowling. So if you want to play any sports, I highly suggest doing it. Um, also, the Wii Mote and Wii Nunchuck that we'll be using today are the fancy gold ones. I wanted to brag about it. So the fun thing about this game, as I've mentioned, is kind of the it plays you as much as you play it psychological thing. So that's pretty fun. Uh, it was made by Climax, <laughs> uh, which is great, as we know a little bit more history. So I do want to show you all of the cutscenes and everything for the first 45 minutes. So let's get right into it. <laughs> this is the coolest menu ever. <laughs> so when you're going through this menu, it actually like goes through the video. So cool. Okay, so we can name this whatever we want. So let's just name it Rini since that's what the channel is. Oh God, this is uh, 
this certainly is something. Um, it would help if I wasn't a foot from the sensor bar, but you know, we started and we're here. So that's what we're gonna do. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and select our profile. And just real quick, let's take a look at some of the options. Um, I am going to turn the subtitles on um, so that you can see pretty much all of that. And I am going to do the tutorial just again so you can see pretty much all that. But I think everything else is fine. And let's go ahead and play. Okay, I understand the point they're trying to make with that, but <laughs> as you do. Yes? The new patient is here. They're early. That's fine. We can start now. <sighs> Smash and drive is wild. Okay, <laughs> that's a way to start a game. So again, as we mentioned, well, I'll go over this. Glad you came. Just turning up shows your commitment to the process. Good. I've read your notes. The other therapist didn't work out for you. I want you to know this will be different. We take this at your pace. No notes, no drugs. No theories. We go back to the start. Understand what happened. Take a look at this short form. I promise it's the only one you'll see during your therapy. Oh, Try God. to answer truthfully. It's easier that way. Okay, so this is where the warning comes in that the game plays you as much as you play it. So... 
you can answer these questions and based on that as we've kind of gone over it'll change things up so i'm just gonna mark everything true because i don't want people on the internet judging me <laughs> so everything's true for me also i don't know if you can hear it but whenever you select something on the mouth on the uh, wii remote it uses the little speaker i'll boost it so you can hear it in audio Never cheated on a partner, really? Okay. Oh, it's like wrangling wet baloney. Let's get started then. Okay. Jason. Okay, so now we've got control of Harry. We can use the Wii Remote to angle our flashlight and then walk with the nunchuck. Um, again, it's <laughs> very difficult for me to wrangle. <laughs> so I'm going to scoot back a little bit. Um, again, as we went over, this is a reimagining of the first Silent Hill. Uh, which this happens in the first Silent Hill. I'm not going to go over any spoilers for this because the ending is different than the first Silent Hill. So I still highly suggest you pick it up and check it out. But we will kind of go around and look around a little bit and see uh, what we can find and explore a little bit more of the story. I, it's been a hot minute since I played this, so I don't remember everything <laughs> about where we're supposed to go, but eh, it's it's good enough. The Wii Remote's vibrating as we climb. Fun. I love this frozen setting for it, too. It's so good. So we can, if we want, kind of look and sneak in the door to see if anything's in here, uh, which is great touch. Which, which B? This B. This is the only B I have. <laughs> okay. Hydraulic ramp safety notice. All right. So if you look at things in the world just like that, you can get dialogue um, and it can change it. So. Oh, well, let's go over here. Cheryl. You look at this picture. Cheryl. OK, well, we can press X to Jason. So this is where, if I want, I can kind of see, look around, and go all the way in. Nine one one. Phone's out. All right. So we can pick it up a little bit. Let's run. bathroom this big and just one urinal in it. Hmm. Cammy. What? <laughs> Don't say that. Oh. Oh, gross shit. What is that? What is that? Bad girls? Oh, no. <laughs> Let's leave. Okay. What's all this? As you do. Um, all right. Well, shit are full. Let's go. Okay. I 
I also really like the ambiance that they set with this. Um, they do really well with when you need music, when you don't need music, atmospheric noises. I, they did a really good job. I also love that this random auto mechanic shop has an espresso machine in it. As you do. Um, Cheryl. Okay, we can't use that door. We can only Cheryl at it. 10% um, off, okay. Can we go back here? Is there a door here? Uh, that's not a door. Uh, is there a door behind me? Yeah. Okay, so it's not a Wii game <laughs> unless you have some sort of motion puzzle. This does have a few different motion puzzles in it, but they do a really good job of making them not too intrusive and make sense in the world. So I, I don't think they're too bad. All right. I don't know if you could hear my Wii remote, but it was making the noises and vibrating. Obviously, you can't hear it vibrate, but it was making the noises. Sweetie. Okay, please don't sweetie the door. Gas is 269. Nice. All right. So we do have a few different places that we can choose to go from here. Um, I'm probably just going to pop into whatever's closest. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, let's see. I think we can go into this one. I don't remember. Let's see what's in here. Save me for that. Oh. Okay. Uh, not getting in that mess. <laughs> okay. Well, if the town's abandoned, I guess everybody's technically staffed. So we'll we'll go in there in a second. Let's see. Is there anything fun with these TVs? Uh, not really seeing anything. Okay. Well, let's let's see if we can go in the staff only area. We get back here. Dang, that's a lot of computers. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Not that one. There it is. All right, so that should open the door over there. <laughs> a happy couple. All right. can't stop me. <laughs> Alright, let's go, Harry. Just blazing head first into everything. Cheryl? No, don't Cheryl, just climb. Key. 
Okay. There was also something jingle jangling around here. I'm not sure what that was. Okay, don't see anything over there. Do not climb that waist high fence. <laughs> Shoot. I'm trying to get you to hear it. Hello. Where am I? Uh-oh. <laughs> Here we are. Nope. Uh-oh. Now I've put all these in the way. Okay. See? These are pretty cool puzzles, right? Like, they're not too intrusive, but they make sense in the world enough it's it's silent hill so also love that we auto use items just right on in there harry all right do we have our phone yet let's see oops i don't know if we have access to our telephone yet um no please resume Oh, calm down, dude. Um, okay. So this is where I was talking. We have a few different places that we can go. I'm facing the diner. We're going to the diner. Not gonna open. Well, guess we're not going to the diner. All right, let's see what else there is. Maybe the bar? This weather couldn't keep everyone away. <laughs> Name your poison. I'm looking for my daughter. In this weather? <laughs> if she's out, she'll be at the Balkan. That's a bar over on Block Street. No, she's a little girl. She's seven years old. We were in a car accident. I came to and she was gone. Oh, shit. I'd offer to call for help, but the phones are all out because of the storm. Sounds kind of empty. This is her. Oh, a real daddy's girl. If you see her. This your ID? Yeah. Well, it says you live at Levin Street. That's a few blocks from here. My wallet's vibrating. That's where I live. That accident of yours, you take a knock to the head? <sighs> yeah. Your phone? My phone? Cut off. Like I said, phones are all shot to hell. I think that was her. She must be at the house. Wait. Have a drink before you head out. You seem pretty shaken up. I need to get home. She must be waiting for me there. Okay. I'm going to lock up out back. No point in staying open in this weather. <laughs> Best of luck. So you can visually see something that don't look great, <laughs> but this is on the Wii. I feel like for what it is, this is insanely impressive and it looks pretty good. Um, I, now that I think about it, I feel like maybe depending on your choices is the place that you can go. So maybe we could only go to one of those three because of our choices. So this talks about our phone. So we now have access to our phone, which is fun. Um, so we've got messages, which we have none. You can also hear as I click buttons. We can take pictures, which will come into use later. This is where you save the game. I 
turn it up for you. This is where we have our map. Okay, so one fun thing about this is we can actually call some numbers. So let's call just a couple real fast. Uh, in this situation, I'm sure you would dial. In America, it's 911, so let's call them. missing 911 what is your emergency my daughter's missing is there anyone there is this a prank call no no my daughter okay i'm going to hang up now no wait i feel like that's a uh... A little rough. Let me actually Google real fast. I know very prepared. Uh there are some fun ones real fast that we'll go through. I'm not going to have you listening to the numbers every single time, so give me a second. few of other fun ones too. So I'm not going to go through all of the phone numbers because I want there to be some surprise if you play it. But I think it's really cool that they put all that in there. Pretty much all of the numbers, the ones starting with the 555, you'll actually find in the world. But the Konami number is actually in the case itself. <laughs> I think we can find it um, in the actual manual. So we should have seen that whenever I'm filming all of this out of order, I'll be honest. So <laughs> we should have seen that. But let's go ahead and continue with the story. If I can wrangle my Wii remote. Nah. Nah. Sport today. Okay. As you do. So we go back the way we came. Okay. So I think it was this way. Let's see. And as you can see, Hera kind of like auto latches onto doors. I'm not really pressing A. Ooh. Echo photos. Fun. Let's check that out. So you can kind of see right here that there's something. Something's up here. Whoop, 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 whoop. So now that we've taken that picture, we have a message. So let's check it. Daddy, I need you. Okay, that was okay. <laughs> 
So, I, again, it's another cool functionality, I think, that they didn't have to add to the game. It is one of those things where it is a Wii Motion kind of thing, but it's, it's really cool, and it adds to the atmosphere a lot, I feel like. It's one of those things that, optionally, if you just want to zoom through the game, you can, or you can get more of the story from it. All right, so let's go back. All right, so where did we come from from here? I remember climbing that. Oh, this door. Okay. Yeah, I remember this place. I know you can hear that from there. It's loud as hell. Okay, let's see if we can find what's what's fucking with it. Sounds like it's something over here. Okay, that gave us a message too. Let's check it out. You have to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, in sickness and in health. Whatever ails us, whatever weaknesses our flesh may suffer under, our love will cure all ills. Our love will be our rock. Okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, so that's a thing. Um, was there any new messages on this thing over here? I didn't check it. Oh. You don't want to answer the phone? Oh, no, we already heard that. I'll just keep ringing. I just got told okay. what you did with my kid. Okay, well, we're leaving. Sorry, lady. <laughs> All right, let's leave. Goodbye. All right, up we go. Ooh, the frames. Oh, a little bit crispy. Just a little bit. Okay. Good. Uh. Well. What you think about that, Harry? Let's go over here, I guess. So can we still go over here? Can you climb over this ice or are you scared of it? I mean, mood, but still. Okay, don't see anything over there. Don't see anything here. Nothing over here. Where you want me to go? Here? No. This ain't the way, right? Oh, hell's bells. Welcome to my awful pathfinding. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, there's a door here. Okay, well, let's go here. Oh, no, I wanted to look at the car. Okay. Fun. Okay, now we can go. Okay.
Uh oh. What's going on there? What's up with all that? Okay, so we need to find the exit. We can run at blue edges. We need to listen to for distortion, uh, for Dagner, and we need to get to Levin Street. Okay. Oh, I think let's climb that. I'm trying to let you hear it, but I don't want to get got. This way, maybe? Oh, am I just going backwards? I probably am. Oops. Okay. Do I want to go this way? Now I'm just running back and forth like an idiot. Uh oh. Okay, so creatures. <laughs> so they cannot be killed. We have to throw them off. Um, so <sighs> this is the hardest part of the game for me because I get lost constantly. So let's let's engage our wee waggle and see how it goes. Can I look at a map? Um, this is terrible. That was a bad idea. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, he's limping. He ain't doing so hot. Oh, no, Harry. <laughs> oh, here they come. Oh, Lord, they coming. Come on, Harry. So you can't hide. Um, that is a thing. Anytime I've played it, I don't feel like it's super helpful. They're just getting closer. And I'll have to wait for them to go away. I feel like it's more beneficial to just run. <laughs> but I don't know. Let's see. Hopefully they go away and don't find me. Looks like there's two of them out there at least. Oh, there's one right in front of us. Is he going to find us? Oh, he found us. Shit. Um. All right. Well. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. No. This way, Harry. This way. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Come on. We're, we waggle. We waggle, please. We waggle, please. We waggle, please. <laughs> we waggle. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, go through the door. Go through the door. Go through the door. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. We ran right into that one. Okay. Well. Come on. Oh, shit. <laughs> run, Harry. <laughs> okay, well, a lot of this can be chalked up to, uh, one, my awful pathfinding, and two, the fact that I am playing at the worst angle for this. But typically these restart whenever you fail them. So there's not too much, I guess, to lose. Uh, it just... <laughs> It just sucks to do it all over again. So let's let's see let's see how fast we can bust this out now that we kind of know where we're going. Um, let's get let's get let's get our uh, wee mat waggle under control here. Okay. All right, this way. Oh, the frames. You don't want to run any faster than that? At that that light jog that you got going on? Oh, 
Well, I don't think that helped me much. Because <laughs> I just got confused on it. Oh, no. No, no. <laughs> come on. Shake it off. Come on, Harry. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, for fuck's sake, I tripped over it. <laughs> okay, come on, Harry. Come on. Why am I in the water? Okay. So, flares hold them off, which is great. Um, so we'll, we'll use that. Okay, now hopefully I can get my bearings. Let's see. There we are. Okay. So our phone does have a map on it that we can access. Come on, Harry. You can do it. I believe in you. It's good that we touched on the car crash. That would have been a breakthrough before. But let's leave that topic for a while. I want to talk about family. It's important, right? Bam. I don't mean all that touchy-feely crap. You're not a very touchy-feely person. You're giving me that look. I'm talking too much. Well, let's have you talk, or not, or whatever you feel comfortable doing. Let's play true or false. Is it true to say you're a private person? Oh, oh, I don't know what I'm saying. Would you say it takes a while for people to get to know you? I'm trying to do all trues. Um, I'm not sure what I'm saying. <laughs> people can choose their friends but not their family. Would you prefer to spend time with friends over family? Nothing surprising there. No. You're going to like this. On the table are some pencils and a picture. I want you to let out your inner child and color in the picture. It's titled Happy Family. Okay, let's uh, let's color. Um, oops, uh, oops, <laughs> oopsies. Um, I didn't mean to make everything purple. Um, well, that's fine. Um, let's uh, let's I guess just color this house green. That looks good. That looks good. That looks real good. Um, and then pink car as you do. This looks good. This looks really good. Yeah, oh, it looks good. And then maybe orange orange shed. Is this orange? Yeah. This is looking good. This is looking good. Okay. Good, 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 good. And then, uh, he, oh, oh, oh. Wemote, please. <laughs> Wemote, please. Oh, no. Okay. Um, that's good enough. <laughs> yeah. Totally. <laughs> oh, no. Wemote, please. What a lovely family home. Is your home like this? Sure. The house is green. Okay, son. No. What 
What are you people doing in my house? Cheryl! Easy there. This isn't your house. Some trouble, honey? No, Lucy. This man here is just a little confused. This is my house! Well, I don't see how that can be the case. We've been here nearly 14 years. Sure you got the right address? Who was that? That was our daughter, Katie. You're in a bad way, son, getting yourself all worked up. Are you okay? I am not okay! I was in a car accident. My daughter is gone, and you people are in my house! This is all wrong. You're starting to make a scene. This doesn't make any sense. This is all wrong. Cheryl is inside, isn't she? The only thing that doesn't make sense is your being here. You're upsetting my wife. Why are you doing this to me? My daughter is in there! No, she's not. Please get off my property. Oof. Sir, you come down here for me? Officer, there are people in my house. They have my daughter. I was in a car accident. That's not the story I got. Can I see some ID? From who? Harry Mason. This is the right address. You know what? This doesn't add up. I'm gonna need you to come down to the station with me. We can sort it out there. No. My daughter is in there, somewhere. She's missing. I'm a police officer, Mr. Mason, and I need you to come with me. These people don't have your daughter. Trust me. If she's missing, we will find her. How's she out in the snow in that? Okay. So as you can see, the you know, the way we colored funny. the picture affected uh, I've been a that. I've in this town for 20 years. Before that, I used to ride around in my daddy's patrol car, so I know the town, know the people. But your face? I don't know you. I keep out of trouble. Not tonight. Well, I guess tonight everything is out of whack. Why are we the only car on the road? No one's sane out driving tonight. Sorry, I didn't mean to... It's okay. What is with all this snow? Who knows? We only covered basic meteorology in the academy. Hell, we didn't hear about this till it was happening. Barely had time to close off the major highways. Like the whole town is being punished. It's only weather. Sure. You okay back there? Sure. Holding up. I'm sure your daughter's okay. We've just got to clear this thing up. We should probably get you to the hospital, too, once we know she's safe. <sighs> I'm fine. The human brain is a delicate thing, Harry. Need to get you checked out. Yeah. My dad thought he was tough. He got hit on the head by a punk resisting arrest. He was never the same after that. You gotta look after yourself, Harry. For your daughter's sake. Point taken. Damn, this snow is crazy. Oh, I can't see the road. Wait here. I'm just gonna check where we are. Hey, you didn't buckle up as a cop? What the fuck? Where's she gone? I can't interact with anything. Oh, I guess it's still locked. I guess I didn't do it good. Okay. Come on. Oh, no, it says it's unlocked. Huh. 
Can I roll down my window? No. It's frozen shut. Oh, but I can... Oh, I can get the driver's seat! It's civil. You think she got a gun in this car? I like how everything you can interact with is red. Come on. No, 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 up front. mementos so these are little things that just kind of add a little bit of flair to the story which is fun yes yes okay fun well i'm gonna end it here <laughs> um I, I think i'm gonna end it here let's sit here <laughs> um okay so my thoughts on this so far, um, like I said, I've played the entirety of this, so I already know the story and how it goes and everything. I personally feel that this game would have been fine without those chase sequences that we went through. They they do add like some, I guess, kind of scary aspects to it, but this game on its own is great it's super fun to just go through look at everything experience the story so i highly highly suggest checking it out uh if you're able to um there's there's a lot that you can see it within the first silent hill that they bring back but there's also a ton of new stuff that they add in making it a reimagining that i feel like is super super worth playing so i highly suggest checking it out so that's it. We've seen 45 minutes of gameplay from this. We've seen a little bit of history and we've seen the box and everything. So at the end of the day, I really suggest checking this out. Silent Hill fan or not, I think it's just a great title on the actual Wii itself. It does Wii waggle in a way that feels a little bit more natural for a horror game. The ambiance is great. The music is great. The chase scenes are very frustrating. That's the only part I don't like about this game. But other than that, I I think it's awesome. It's got a perfect story. If you're a huge Silent Hill fan and you want something a little bit more, but you don't want to just keep replaying the first few, this is a great reimagining. And I feel like it's got great replayability because you can just answer the questions differently each time you go through, interact with different items and stuff like that, and actually experience different parts of the same game. So again, highly suggest checking this out. But Thank you so much for hanging out with me and my Wii. <laughs> um, let me know what games you want me to look at. I have a ton of games in my Wii collection, so who knows what we'll be doing next. But thanks for hanging out and have a good weekend. Even if it's not the weekend, please accept that pun. <laughs>